Okay, in this experiment, uh, this activity, investigation, we're going to be drawing a number of shapes, a uh, number of triangles, um, using these tools. So the first tool I've got here is a ruler. It's got centimeters on it. I've got a protractor. I'll be using the ruler and protractor. My personal preference, when I have a to kit out my bag, instead of having a ruler and a protractor, I prefer just to walk around with a geoliner, which is this one here. And the last thing we need is a compass. So, given three sides, draw a triangle with AB equals 4 centimetres, BC equals 5 centimetres, and AC equals 6 centimetres. So, we're going to start off by drawing a line on here, um, which is 4 centimetres long. So, go from there to 4 centimetres long. Then, we're going to grab our um, then we're going to grab our pen and we're going to grab our compass and from this side here I'm going to call this side here A so I want to um, grab out my bit here and I want to go out 6 centimeters. because over here I'm going to call that spot there A so over in this here, we notice that we've got AC being 6 centimetres long. So I've already drawn AB 4 centimetres long, so now I want to draw AB 6 centimetres long. To do this, I need to grab my text pen here, and I'm going to draw an arc around like this. And so that arc is every point from this point A, which is 6 centimetres out. So I'm just going to now bring that back together and um, go through the process of rotating it back down to back up here to zero degrees. And so now what I want to do is flip it over and I want to put it on this point here. So I have to move it a bit because I want to go five centimeters. So let's put it there and let's move that, that arm out five centimeters. Let's just move it across to five. And let's just move this arm out here to five centimeters. So what we want to do now is I'll move that back onto the, the start point. And I'll just change the pen color. Change it to that one, to red. And I'm going to draw a line out here, which is now... Um, five centimeters long. So I can move all my tools out of the way. So on my diagram here, now I've got this point here which is B. And I've got this point up here, which is going to be C. So I've got my three points. All I need to do now is draw my line to connect A and C. So I'm going to draw a line from there to that point there. So that's connecting A and C. And I'm going to draw a line here to connect B and C. So that's now connected there. So that's now a triangle that has got a line AB, which is 4 centimetres long, a line BC, which is 5 centimetres long, and a line AC, which is 6 centimetres long. Number two. Now I need to draw a triangle here, which is... So I've got an angle ABC, is 50 degrees, angle BCA, which is 60 degrees, and angle CAB, which is 70 degrees. So for this one, they don't give me any indication of how long I need to draw my baseline. So I'm going to draw at reasonable length at the moment, because I don't know where I'm going to be. I can rub out some of that later. Next, I need to grab my um, protractor. I'm just going to make my protractor a little bit bigger so I can see it. So I put that onto the zero point here, match up the zero point on there. Then I grab a pen, and what I want to do with this pen is measure around 50 degrees. So there's 50 degrees. So I want to make a little mark there at 50 degrees. There we go, there's our mark at 50 degrees. Move my protractor out of the way. And I can actually draw a line between our eight, uh, 
that point there, which is going to be our B point going out through there, which is 50 degrees. So if we we're going to label this, that there would be point B because that's the middle. That's the middle here of the um, angle, and so angle part so A is going to be over here, and C is going to be at the top here. So C is going to be up here. So now what I want to do is I could do two different things. So I could draw here at angle A to be 70 degrees, or I could draw along the C line, angle C, which is going to be 60 degrees. Since everything is um, drawn at the moment like this, so I'm going to mark a point here A. So I'm just going to use my pen tool here to just quickly mark a point on here. So I know where my start point is. There we go, so mark a point there, which is A. So now I'll bring my back down, my um, protractor down, line it up. And so now I'm doing this one here, so C, A, B, which is going to be 70 degrees. So I need to go around here to 70 degrees. Again, with my pen tool, and I'll make sure it'll mark here at 70 degrees. Okay, so that's 70 degrees. Um, I can now move my protractor out of the way. And now get my ruler out and draw a nice straight line between that point and that point up there, which I marked as 70 degrees. <coughs> and so that's now a triangle, which has um, all our parts. So here, our angle here is going to be 50 um, degrees. Uh, degrees on here, I'm just going to write the numbers. Um, and that's going. that should be 60 degrees, so we can measure that, it should be 60 degrees. And this angle down here should be 70 degrees. And if we know our triangle theory, that should up to 360 degrees. What do we notice about that triangle and that triangle? Looking pretty similar at the moment. And if we measure these lengths, they probably have similar lengths. Okay, now we need to have two sides and the, and the included angle between them. So again, I'll need my protractor and my um, uh, ruler. Let's change that back up to there. So there's my ruler. So I'm going to start off with a line here, which is six centimeters long, because I'm going to do the first bit there, AB. So mm. six centimeters long, so up to there. Um, again, just to give me some clarification where I am, I'm going to call that side there A, and I'm going to call this side over here B. That's just to give me some clarification of where my angles are. Now, I need to draw an angle a, B, C. So that's this angle over here. Just going to make my protractor a little bit bigger. Yeah. Make it a bit bigger. There we go. Line that up with B. And I need to draw that at 45 degrees. So grab my pen tool, go around to 45 degrees, and make a mark. Like so. Um, move my protractor out of the way. And then I'm going to draw a line. So I need to grab my ruler. And I need to, no, where's my angle in here with the ruler? There it is. Just put that onto there. So I draw my two marks up. <coughs> what I need to do here is I need it to be five centimeters. So let's come down here. Oh, I can do that. Put that on seven up there. To draw my line because I'm going se starting at seven. I know my top there is going to finish at two, so I'm going to draw my line from there up to there. So that's now that drawn, and what I need to draw now is my last side in, and that's just going to join those two spots up. So that's going to be point C. So that's my A, B, and C. And if we look at that triangle, that triangle, and that triangle, so we'll, we'll come back and have a look at those similarities later. All right, so the fifth, the fourth triangle we need to draw here is draw a triangle ABC with the AB being six centimeters, BC being five centimeters, and CAB being four centimeters. 
So this side, we've got two sides and a non-included angle. So let's go through it, how we can draw this. So first of all, let's draw our middle line here at 6 centimeters long. So draw that there at 6 centimeters. Um, then I'm just going to label this so I know what I'm talking about, so I don't get mixed up. So that's going to be A. That's going to be B. And I still need to draw in C. So let's do our next bit, which is bringing in our compass. And now we need BC being 5 centimeters long. So let's take that out to 5 centimeters. Oh, that didn't need to be uh, close enough. Draw up our arc like we did before at 5 centimeters. Let's just move that out of the way. And <coughs> what we need to do here um, is uh, so AB is 6 centimeters, B, so we need BC, which is 5 centimeters, so it's going to be along that, that arc somewhere. And we need angle BAC being 45 degrees. So the other thing I need to do here is bring that in. Let's just make that a little bit bigger. I need to mark on here, get my pen tool, I need to mark 45 degrees. So 10, 20, 30, 40, and 45 is going to be at this point here. So there's my 45 degree mark. Let's move that out of the way again. And so I'm going to have a line that joins A and B like this. Um, and what I notice here is I can actually draw a line there and change my colour. I can actually draw a line here. Both of those triangles, so we've got C, and that also can be. Both of those triangles actually match the information given, don't they? Because they're both five centimeters away from B, and both of them create an angle of 45 degrees with A. So in fact, that one there, we can draw two triangles. Um, most of these, the other, we can draw multiple triangles with some of these, but generally that multiple triangle, if we look at this one, um, would actually be down here like that. So it would just be a mirror image. This one here becomes where that becomes slightly different. So let's draw number five. So this time, we need to draw our triangles here we've got an angle ABC which is 70 degrees, angle BCA which is 30 degrees and BC is 7 degrees, uh, seven centimetres. So let's actually draw the 7 centimetres in first because that seems to be at the bottom. So let's draw our 7 centimetre line in here. Oh, we've got a red line still. Okay. Um, then we want to go, let's label that. Let's call the side A. Oh, sorry. That side's going to be B, and this side over here is going to be C. So now what we're going to do is an angle here at B is going to be sent at C. Let's change that. Uh, it's going to be 70 degrees. So let's just ignore that at the moment. So let's go over here, down to there, and we want to draw 70 degrees. So an angle there, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and we make a mark just there at 70 degrees. And then we can come across over to the C side, and we can make our angle there at 30 degrees. So again, grab my text pen, and 30 degrees is there, so make our mark. Then we can grab our line tool. Before we do that, just move these things out of the way. Then we can grab our line tool and we can go a line that's going to go through that mark. So that's giving our angle there at B 70 degrees. And then a line through this one, which is going to give our angle at C 30 degrees. And we can now give that point up there a value of A. Last one to go. Given a right angle and a hypotenuse and a side, 
and I haven't put any tools on here. Let's just check on the tools. So we need ruler and we need a compass, a uh, geoliner or protractor. Um, so what are we looking at here? So here we get given a, a right angle. So we're getting given two sides. So AC here is 10 centimeters. So let's draw that in first. So let's draw that in 10 centimeters. So that goes around like, like so. Then we've got AB, which is 90 degrees. So let's grab this. Let's turn this around to 90 degrees. Put that onto a zero and move it across a little bit. And this is going to be 8 centimeters. It's a little bit high, so let's drag that down there. Let's drag right there. So we want to go 8 centimeters. Let's just bring it down a bit more. So 8 centimeters. Again, we're going to draw our line from here and go up 8 centimeters. So finish just here. Um, grab that out of the way. Draw a little right angle symbol down the bottom here so that we've got a right angle triangle and join up our two points there and there to make it a finished triangle so here this is going to be in the earth, uh, point b so ac so something over here is going to be a because that was our first one which we did 10 centimeters hang on no i have made a mistake here so ABC, so B is in the middle. So AC, ah, okay, hang on, just relabel these points. So that's going to be my, oh, I've made a big mistake, sorry, I'm going to start this one again. I apologise. So I'm going to have here AB, which I need to redraw. Put that back under zero. Put that back under here. AB, which is going to now be eight centimeters. This is why you label your triangle at the start. So that's going to be point A. So AB, which is eight centimeters. Then we need to have a line um, from B. Uh, then we need to sorry, then we need to draw a point from um, A, which is C, which is 10 centimeters. So we need our compass here. Let's get 10 centimeters. Go right out to oh. I want to increase the size of this thing. Increase the size of this thing so I can I might have to do AC. Alright, but let's just pretend we're getting to gonna get this out to uh, ten centimeters. Not kinda quite there. Get there. So we're gonna just flip it, grab this, put it onto A, and then we just draw our arc like so. And then we're going to draw a line at B, which is 90 degrees. So here, it's going to be straight up. So we can measure on that, but on here, it's just going to be straight up. And where the, that intersects with the arc is where C is going to be drawn. Okay, obviously C, you need to make sure that it is the correct distance, which I was able to do. So that's going to be the last one. And again, let's just quickly write in our right angle symbol here. So that is how you draw the six diagrams that are drawn here. Okay, thank you very much.